Yeah, so I woke up this morning and put headphones in and I just like listened on repeat uh, while doing the dishes and then making breakfast and uh, I was most proud of a couple things. I guess it's the same thing but in, I'll say it in two different ways. I was most proud of myself for not muddying the water too much because it's easy for me to make a, something my own, make it my own style. Yeah. But the other way I'll say that is I was really proud of you like vocally leading the direction because we created a song that really uh, you could be, you could disagree with me but I feel like we made a song that has it hits all the marks that we sought for in yeah. part 1 yeah. and yesterday uh yeah. in all of yesterday's video like vibe wise too like it's it's very like head on yeah, I, I was mastering uh, the recording today. I was just tweaking. You'll hear a couple changes. There was this energy about it that felt very, not just like lo-fi, but almost cheesy, but in a very warm way. There's something really yeah. just pretty and sweet. It almost and... feels nostalgic. Yeah, like if, yeah. If, if there's like a nostalgic sound, I feel like that intro is very much that. My, like, that's a funny thing because you know, as somebody who, I said it a couple times already, like, I look to make memory and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I look to music and art that makes me feel nostalgic, nostalgic about something I've never experienced. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, there's sad nostalgia, longing nostalgia. This just feels like happy nostalgia. It just evokes yeah. something that feels yeah good. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm surprised I, that's why i'm saying i'm proud of myself i'm surprised i didn't muddy that water because i i couldn't have done that by myself even like your your voice coming through like everything just like kicks ass um, teamwork in the same vein like obviously i could not have pulled that off by myself but like I, and i was thinking about this last night like i was i was in the shower and i was like how did we even get to where we got with that song that's how making a song always feels. Like, I don't like, remember serious. having the conscious, like, conversation mm -hmm. or, like, anything about, like, the melody or, yeah. like, yeah. really much of fucking anything, and it just happened. I, I mean, I definitely, like, I, I knew at every step that you haven't written melody, uh -huh. and so I was, like, watching you and being vigilant that you would do the thing. I right. think having like this was really important because yeah. it's not like, it's not like staff music. Like we not we didn't write the notes out, but yeah. I kind of kept bringing you back to like, okay, well you sang this melody here, you're gonna sing it again there, you know? And so right. I think that, I think that that's just how it works. I think you, you basically, you discovered how a song is written Something through like accidents in some yeah. ways, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Happy mistakes. Happy mistakes. And we're back. So I wanted to address first, too. I, I almost forgot. You didn't see me use the automaton or the kazoo. Uh, was there something else? You used the penny whistle, though. Oh, no. Or the penny whistle. Wait, I thought and you that's, did. No. And you hardly, you actually didn't see me use the organelle. For all of that, I apologize. However... Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? I don't want to. Mm, no. <laughs> Go away. Oh. Um, however, uh, I did use the organelle. There's a lot of patches in the organelle, and it, again, it just looks like turning knobs. Like, it's just kind of like, oh, does this work? Does that work? Um, and uh, in our moment of downtown, downtime in between, um, that's when I put a bass line on, and I used the organelle for that. Uh, and I tried some of the sound design -y elements of some of the patches with the penny whistle, with um, the kazoo, and with the uh, automaton, and it didn't get what I wanted because the song is so tight in time. Uh, this is like what I was talking about yesterday. I write music that is not in time. <laughs> I write music that is like sliding in and out of time. So if I put an extra element on top that's like a little shimmery and a little out of time, it doesn't sound bad, but th with this song, everything was so tight that when I tried to put a layer that was like yeah. a little shimmery, it was like, no, that's not gonna work. So we ended up not putting those elements in. Um, 
Oh well, what are you gonna do? Whatever. Yeah. So it's basically, it's basically a couple different synths, some digital instrumentation, and then both of our voices. Oh, and a yeah. guitar. So that's what you get. And a. Uh... Oh, and a glockenspiel. Yeah. Glockenspiel. So, thanks. We're making a music video. Um. So I think, you know, first things first, let's just kind of like talk through what your thoughts are. Yeah. Like, what do you sort of envision and, and how do you uh, plan to make that happen? Okay, so I have a couple things. Um, you had talked about the one, like, maybe literally the single idea that we put up on the board that we didn't use from day one. Yeah was scrapbooking mm. and that felt really much like really in line with my sense of like collaging memory mm. um, I was also thinking like I don't know if this is the way to go about it but I was thinking just within my limitations of like what I have access to to shoot to in one day in one day where it's daytime, it's not, I don't get options of nighttime, I don't get this, I don't get that, I don't get a budget. It's like, what do I have, and what do I have close, right. within driving distance, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking about how, like, I want it to be, I want it to be, I want there to be some sort of through, through story, right? Uh, where... I think that this, listening this morning, realizing, like, this is Brandon's song. Whether or not it's your story, like, I still would argue that, you know, I, I tend to feel like I make song where it's not, this is my autobiography, and mm -hmm. yet, even in that abstraction, it obviously is. So it's like your story. I think I want you in it, and I imagine, I imagine just, like, the through image is like you walking and maybe it's like through the woods because we have access to mm -hmm. it and it's very pretty um the a lot of extra images i'm imagining are like like i was talking about the other day like much too close to understand what's going on mm -hmm. so i'm imagining collaging this uh what, what do we say um <clears throat> scrapbooking yeah and i'm imagining that like another word for that would be collaging uh, and so I, I kind of woke up this morning and I just started thinking of collage artists that I really like. Okay. And I was like, I just spent, you know, some time thinking about a bunch of different styles of like what that could look like in static image. I, so I even imagined maybe using the 1DX, like just having a 1DX and at some points while they're shooting with red, take a couple stills so that we can splice those that same style of okay. interspersed so still. So this is sort of bleeding into like the final thing that, you know, I usually like to do, which is like figuring out what gear yeah. we need to figure out how to how, how to pull this up. But it's like, okay, so <clears throat> I'm kind of getting a few things from what you're saying. Stop motion? A little bit of stop motion. Um, but also short snippets of motion superimposed over each other, you know? So a lot of layering. A yeah, lot of layering. yeah. I'm um, imagining... Kind of what I'm imagining today is that we're going to go out and shoot a ton of stuff, and then once we hit it in in post, in post it's just going to be this insanely large assembly of snippets. So very abstract. Yeah. Is kind of. Mm -hmm. Do you have a like color palette that you're sort of? Uh, I want to play to uh, the greens of like of new growth that we see today right now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I want to feel summer elements in this video. I think that needs to be a consistency, even if the content of the words isn't the same, because it's obviously a song about evening in the city. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not the same thing, I want it to feel summery. So, usually what I like to do when I'm sort of thinking about like a project, um, I've shot, I, I'm not like a veteran music video maker, but like I've shot a couple music videos. The first thing I really like to do is sort of go through color palette. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, let, let's okay. let's talk about this for a little bit. So, green is definitely like, it's kind of like inevitable. Yeah, sure. Um, I think one thing that you know, we we had sort of talked about two days ago. Um, feels more like two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but like lavender, sort of mm -hmm. incorporating even just like your style of 
of color. Even just um, skewing the final product just slightly. Like overall purple. Yeah, yeah. Um, almost like pur like shadows shifted purple. Shadows shifted purple, okay. Um, um, and then, you know, it, maybe we just, we angle towards a warmer tone. Yeah, totally. For the whole video, so we'll have hints of orange. But I also think that actually, like, I was getting my car today to head here, and I was thinking about how absolutely fucking bright it is right now, mm -hmm. and how in past when we've had to shoot, mm -hmm. it's not to our benefit, but I was thinking, well, how can I think about this and use that to my benefit? So, like, I'm almost imagining utilizing overexposure as interesting. an element. You know? Very interesting. Um, it hurts my soul, but yes. um, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm obviously you do we your can, thing here. <laughs> obviously we can do that in post, right? Like, I know we can just bring things up and sort of... Overexpose and post? Overexpose and post. Yeah, but we can absolutely do that. I think... So, one thing that I will always suggest is shoot to get maximum return. Right. Always. Right. So, don't shoot overexposed. Yeah. Shoot neutral, right. decide later. I think I'm just saying, like, in terms of, I think we're getting into texture now, which is a different yeah. thing, but, like, yeah. I'm thinking in terms of final product, too, just, yeah. like... So I think now what I what I generally like to do is, like, what I sort of call hero yeah. imagery. Um, are there, like, specific shots that yeah. you want to see as, like, nice establishing hero shots yeah. that you can then layer in to sort of story tell? Yeah. Because at that point... That's generally when I like to pull out the storyboards. Have you thought about Nastic ratio? Yes, and I was thinking about what we used, what we did in this other video. Okay, so we're gonna go maybe three two, three by two. Um, we can also play around with different Nastic yeah, ratios yeah. in the same project. Um, so I will let you have the floor with some storyboard elements, but. Um, I think, like, generally the thing that I, I like to really think about is, like, <clears throat> with this type of project specifically, it sounds like a lot of it will come together once you actually get into the editing process. Yeah, totally. But um, a good anchor, if you will, is knowing what specific things you want to see yeah. going into it. I want to consider, I guess I'll, I'll form it. I'll think about my composition in terms of how we shoot for like your videos. So mm -hmm. I want to think of like my A roll as being a bunch of footage of you walking. So am I singing the song no. in this? Oh, okay. okay. So it's just purely. But I will say this: I almost forgot about my favorite moment. Okay. <laughs> I think at the very end, I want tr as a tool, I want tripod because at the very. Okay. I think footage for the very end. I think you're going to be walking and just pensive, pensive, pensive the entire video, and it's going to be like interesting textures, 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 fun, fun, fun. At the very end, it's going to be a it's going to be a dead on symmetrical shot in like the woods on a whitish path, looking down, and you're going to be walking toward it, and you're going to be dancing. <laughs> it's going to be this really cheesy dance, and I'm going to have you do it like a hundred times. Yeah. And so that like for the first like beat or two, it'll be one, then three, 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 then seven, yeah, then seven, twenty, yeah. like, just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. So it'll just, it'll just start in serious, pensive energy yeah. and just end in, like, complete Absolutely. Dumb. <laughs> I think we'll basically get a little bit of a, a gear list going mm -hmm. once you start with that. So we figure out, like, what you want. Okay. Um, and if there's specific shots in your head that you're not entirely sure how to get, yeah, we can sort of talk about that. So I'm thinking about a shot that we did for this pixel video, pixel bud video, um, where we were in that cedar swamp, and I took a bunch of footage of you just walking and then like getting up to a railing, and it was like on your right side, mm -hmm. and I kind of want to opposite that. So I'm imagining you like <laughs> that's you, perfect. <laughs> That's your head. Yes. <laughs> and um, generally, it's my my fucking storyboarding. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea of how shitty this is. Liter don't die. <laughs> um, literally, like, like fucking like in that that swamp scene. Tree. 
boy. Road. I'll do an arrow in okay. terms of direction. <laughs> but that, that's that's literally how bullshit cool. my fucking storyboards are. Cool. But yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, so this is this is a boy. He's moving forward. You're in focus, and there's gonna be trees, 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 trees. Are trees. we thinking shallow or are we thinking Yeah. Um, okay. Especially as a lot of the establishing shots, I'm imagining really shallow. Okay. And um, I think like I want to storyboard in terms of some of the imagery of you I want to see, and then I want to think about splicing what's in between. That's okay. Cool. So we're gonna have to go heavy ND, because <laughs> that's gonna be letting in a lot of light. What's ND? Uh, neutral density. Oh yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah Cut yeah. light out. Yes. Going that wide. Yes. 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 Um, uh, so like I'm imagining here over the intro where it's like before anything there's just the because it kind of feels like almost like walking <coughs> stop yeah uh, at some point I'm imagining probably from that same direction I'm imagining like foot stepping yes um, I love the detail. <laughs> And it's just like very shallow focus, feet stepping, um, on like a sidewalk or something, yeah. or maybe like the same ground. Pro probably just taken in the same moment. For a lot of these shots, are they stationary, handheld, handheld. slider, handheld? Okay. I think everything's gonna be handheld except for a couple of tripod shots. Okay. And maybe, as I say that, I realize I could be a little janky, because if the whole video is handheld, it probably could, it could feel kind of wild. What a uh, frame rate. Are you thinking about roughly? I think that we. I think that anything of a roll will shoot in sixty. That way, if we want to slow it down, we can. Yeah. Okay. But I think that all the extraneous footage we don't have to, because okay. I'm just going to shoot a ton of it and we'll splice it together. Gotcha. You know what I mean. Sixty There's... will help in terms of it being so bright as well. Right. 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 So. Um, yeah. So I think it'll be face at one point, foot at one point. Um, I'm imagining uh, uh, there's a lake where we're going to be shooting, so I'm imagining at some point maybe you, like... Jump in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump in, fully under, breathe in, <laughs> float. Yep. Yeah. Die. No, don't do that. Back. Don't do that. <laughs> be great. Um, I think I'm imagining you kind of, like, bending down, crack Ooh, your knees. Hell yeah. And, uh, and you're, like, by water's edge or something, and maybe the shot is, like... Reflections in focus, mm -hmm. so it's like shaky cam. I'm holding it here, shaky cam. Water surface is in focus, super shallow. Okay. I can see you kind of come in. You're in frame like this, and you bend down, and then your face comes into focus. Okay. You know that might be that would be the first time you have a head on look. Gotcha. So that would look like <laughs> two eyes and a smile. Yes. And <laughs> With a ripple effect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> I guess I should just say, like, um, um, side profile. Nope. Yeah, these can be messy as shit. Yeah. But just, like, from a help. Pro. Yeah. Uh, file. Stepping. Um, reflection. Uh, I don't know what another bit of you would be. Maybe just more walking. It, you don't have to fill them in. It can be. Um, I mean, it's like it. it it's again. Yeah. It's it's about finding the shots that you really see in your head. Yeah. That you absolutely want to capture to be able to storytell. I think some of the interspersed shots that don't have you in them, depending on what we see as we're driving to location, I might imagine some town looking shots, okay. but even just like literally from the car, like past yeah. it, because it's like the feeling of like, yeah. you're thinking, I'm, I'm trying to establish like you are here, but you're reflecting, Yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, um, so let me, let me, let me, let me shoot you into getting a gear list on. Um, oh, I think at some point it'll be the um, the gladiator shot. Did you ever see Gladiator? I like 
Probably. It's not a great movie, Probably. but there's a shot in it that I think about all the time, which is pretty wild, um, where he's, it makes sense because of the way that I think about my art, but right. he's reminiscing about his life and he's wishing to be in uh, the life that he had, which is like a peaceful farmer. And instead he's like, he'd been in the military and then huh. he'd been stolen, became a captive and had to fight in the gladiator, right. or uh, whatever. But there's like this one moment where he's like, in, in this in this memory, I don't know if it's him or if it's like his wife who's dead at this point, um, but it's way too close, slightly out of focus, and the hand is like brushing up against like a wheat field, uh -huh. so they're like walking, and it's just like oh. really cropped in on the hand and like what's being touched, and it's just like a oh, really, cool, and it's like super bloomy, yeah, and it's kind of like that feeling. So okay. I'm imagining maybe the same thing, like hand. Yep. We, That's we, beautiful. We feel Absolutely. <laughs> but yet it still gets the point across. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> um, so let's... Uh, for any of this because that's yeah, yeah. Um, I'm thinking cool I love the I'm a big fan of the Helios lens we have okay that's what I was gonna yeah I think that should be situated on the red for shots of you okay so we're gonna do red and I think I want the wide boy on the 1DX. So I was going to suggest we go 2470, which has a little bit of in uh, in line stabilization. Mm -hmm. And it's also um, f2.8. Okay. And uh, at 70, you're going to get a really nice natural soft. Cool. Okay. I want to shoot any of those frames or footage in wide, though because I think what I want to do with all that extraneous footage is I want to take some of the same footage and just like cut well then, spikes. Let's, let's, bring, let's bring the 16 to 35 as well. Okay. Um, that way there's like this distorting of memory, like yeah. splice like this, splice like that, just like yeah. absolutely collage. Like, yeah. you know. Are we bringing 1DX? Yeah. Okay. So... Unless you think we don't need to. I Honestly, maybe it's, waste, maybe it's a waste. Because I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to take stills the way that we did for Pixel Buds. Okay. But I, I'm thinking, I feel inspired by what we did there. Like, flash, 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 superimpose, superimpose, like the double exposure. But it right, can be that we film. Yeah. So maybe we don't need the 1DX. Okay. It's easier to just bring one anyway. Fair enough. Um, okay, so miscellaneous, um, we'll bring uh, sticks. Um, and what's a stick? As oh, I try um, and then we'll bring uh, ND. Mm -hmm. um, I say I say we we stack ND with Promist. Okay. That way, a little bloom. Sure. Yeah. That way, when we're not on Helios, we still have a little bit of a bloomy. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do you want slider? No. I don't think so. Just okay. Um, freehand. Do you want anything else? Um. Uh, I guess like we should think in terms of color and miscellaneous. We should think about like clothes. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think one thing that I would suggest is bringing, um, just that, that diffuser panel, that way yeah. if we want to get something and the sun's a little too harsh. Yeah, and, awesome. and probably a lot of those close-up shots, like, we could use that almost as shade, too. Yeah. That's fine. Um... I 
I don't think anything else. Yeah, I think gonna, of. A lot of it's going to be natural light. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I, I mean, I think this is just going to be phase one anyway. Yeah. So I mean, we'll start packing and if we think of anything else. Yeah. Everything you see for the rest of this video is not going to be shot here because we're going to take this off. And shoot then on iPhone. We're going to shoot on iPhone and end of video, which will be later today, Oof. we'll establish a shot of a 1DX, maybe from near the, like from behind the, the screen. Yeah. Or we can, maybe we can um, do it the way we live stream. I don't know. That's kind of, that's, that's kind of cute. Up to you. Because <laughs> we should spend, since we didn't spend any time doing the music edit on, like, as footage, we should right. do some of this edit down. Yeah. We should, otherwise it's... Yeah, we're we can do split screen yeah. in there. Yeah. Have you with, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining us in this perspective, and See welcome to whatever the next perspective is. This. Hi, so we are packing. Um, we have neutral density filter. It's a uh, variable one by uh, black and white. It's very expensive, but very worth it. I low key use this like pretty much in every single video that I make. It's a great tool to have. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, we put it in here, didn't we? Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're a mess in this office, and by we, I mean me. Um, sh <laughs> hey, come back up here. Thank you. Uh, um, and then we have uh, this uh, ProMist filter. This is the uh, one, hmm, one fourth. Um, and we're going to pack that in there. Then we have our two filters. Then we have our Helios lens in which we will cap because for some reason this is not capped. Um, <laughs> Oops. Yeah, uh, so we'll stack that away in there. And then... Oh, that pretty cap? Um, Is that yeah, the pretty this, one? This pretty cap yeah. by uh, Global Dynamics United. Mm. They make a great uh, EF, and also, I think they make a PL, and they also make a uh, 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 RF mount cap for, uh, for you Canon users. Um, but now we have the great privilege of um, taking down this red that I just improperly shut down. Accidentally hit the pause button. Cool. Yeah, boy. Good, yep. Um, this is a good start to my videography career. <laughs> so from here, um, I'm gonna ask Jake to, to hold this down. Um, like this? Yep. I'm gonna take one of these sandbags off. Great, good, very nice, very nice, very solid, very, very solid. We're doing great. Hey, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't touch me there. Why am I? <laughs> why am I holding this down? I don't need to hold it down. Oh yeah, now you don't. Oh, but with the sandbag on the back, it would have just flown. Oh, oh, oh yeah. this makes sense. We're gonna take this meteor. We're gonna import it. We're gonna dump it into Pegasus, um, and then with this guy. Uh, we are going to take off this lens. Have a look at it. It's nude. It's nude. That's better. This cap on. How dope does that look? It looks dope. Um, all right. So from here, things are falling. Uh, put this bad boy on. Um, that way it doesn't know where it's going. Can't see. Oh. Um, put that in there. And then we will take the batteries. Ah. We got uh, Brandon one and Brandon two because I'm a narcissist. Uh, <laughs> what are you? Are you Brandon zero? Maybe, maybe. Uh, and then we're gonna just stack these in there. I don't think we need this Zeiss 28. If we did a studio tour at this yeah. point, it would just be four minutes of us sitting in a pile of things, not talking yeah. and not moving. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know when you're like trying to clean something up and like you just keep going back and forth because like you just don't know where to start? Yeah. I feel like that's just this office. Yeah. In its entirety. Every time um, we make a, every time we start a new project, it's destroyed again. It gets yeah, clean like, for like a day. It's like 10 minutes of like, yeah. oh my God, there's all this shit. 
pick list. We have the three lenses. Yes, sir. We Lens. have our Lens. 16 35. Lens one, two. We have our Helios. Um, and then we need our, uh, what, what are we bringing out? 2470? 2470. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, too close. <laughs> too close for comfort. You know what? It's a shame that we didn't get footage of that storm. It's true. That would be pretty good. You know what I've discovered is one of my new favorite color palettes is like the dark, rich blue of a stormy sky. Yeah. At like, like seven o'clock. And the red of a stoplight mm. against it. That's really good. It's like, it's, it's just like, it's fucking fire. Like, it's just fucking fire. <sighs> Teal and orange here. Okay. So, we have... Do not do this at home, kids. Very bad practice, but, um, hey. Okay. You're, um, you're not wearing one of the Marquez shirts. I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm a traitor. <laughs> uh, so, from here... This is what we do all day, is just walk back and forth between rooms. Yeah, no, pretty much. Oh, here's the boss. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> On top of uh, a bunch of random stuff and yeah, an empty Staples eraser container. Right, so we have three lenses. Okay. We need to, mm, yeah, get, get it close. <laughs> yeah. Get all my pores. Um, Look at that one pour, though. <laughs> Uh, we just need sticks, and then, um, do you want, uh, an extra monitor? I don't think so. Why would I just like to have two? Yeah. I don't think so. Here. I'm sorry. There's Al's game, Jesus! One, one for each eyeball. <laughs> like a chameleon. Oh, God. I'm wearing them like goggles. Yes. <laughs> I want everything exposed like that in my video. Good. You can't see it, but it's very exposed. I can only imagine. <laughs> it's just white. How cringy it is. <laughs> All right. Now we break down some sticks. Sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones. My hair has officially gotten to the length where it's just tickling my face. Mm. Like, all the time. I'll shave your head if you want. I don't think I could pull that off. I really don't. I think like you have a head shape where it works. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have that head shape. Mm -hmm. I think I need my hair to look normal. Um, Your dad looks good with uh, with short hair. He, he has a long beard though. Yeah, we don't or, have the same like head shape though. No. Like I have a coconut where he has a mango. <laughs> That's you, you. You have thought of that too much. You pulled that out too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just lying in bed at night. What is the he has fruit a shape? I have a mango. <laughs> what is the fruit shape of my dad's head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, uh, I've never tried this before, but I really want to try it right now. This is gonna take a level of precision. Are you gonna shoot without? Oh. Oh, to get it on. I tried to get it on there once. I couldn't. Why won't this come up? You have to turn the... Spin the wheel. Yeah, I'm trying. Spin the wheel. Brendan. Brendan. It won't come off, Jake. Let's see. Why? I Why did, did you do that so easily? With one hand. I don't like you. <laughs> or all that you said. I don't think it's going to fit. Is it? Yep. Oh, cool. Oh, it doesn't fit, it just... Wow, that's... That's a vintage lens right there. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's a different form factor, right? Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, this is, um... I don't even remember what the fuck these mounts are called. Can you get a... A, uh... I'll just hold it. Okay. Can you get a, um, an adapter? Probably? That would be cool. Yeah, this, this actually, is... we need a 3D printer. Oh, that would be good. This is Jared's. Because, like, low-key... Spin the wheel. You could probably just print... place Place it down, spin the wheel. <laughs> he yells. <laughs> I 
Dun 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 You can't use that for legality sake. I need you to do an off brand one. Why won't this fit? That's our happy birthday <laughs> to you. Is all of this footage useless? <laughs> you have a birthday. <laughs> oh my god. Remember when the Beatles tried to make their own birthday song? Yeah. That didn't go well. Um, live bands like to play it. Yeah, it didn't yeah. go well. <laughs> I, sp I speak from experience. Okay. Um, okay. So we have we have we have a tripod. We have uh, we have red with a base plate on. We have two batteries fully charged. We have a sixteen thirty five. We have a twenty four seventy. We have a Helios fifty five mil. We have a neutral density filter, and we have a Pro Mist. Filter. Need this? We probably should bring do, a sidewinder just in case. Uh, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't Red, Velcro? Red, do we need this? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, oh, I just need to clear this media. And then uh, I think we'll be ready to go. Cool. Let's kill it. Do the thing where you put your hand over the lens. Bye. We're out in the woods. Um, I just, I want to get some establishing shots of uh, this grass blowing. Red was saying in the car right over here that we should get some just extra roll of like sky um, just as like extra establishing material since otherwise it's going to be pretty hard to fill on um, three minutes of footage. So I like that, I like that there's a smattering of like the shadows, there's light, there's warm, there's cool, and it's all moving. So I'm shooting it, what do you say? I'm shooting at 48? Shooting at 48, yeah. Um, so I can slow it down a little bit. And I'm going to get covered ticks so. Yay! Um, I'm reporting to you live. This is your, uh, Pretty much 10 minute uh, Jakey check. Um, he is still recording. He is using that camera like a fucking pro. Um, he's really like leaning into the textures of nature. Uh, he's really touching the surface of life and its meaning. Look at him touch that lens. How majestic. <sighs> yes. We are here observing a wild Jake in his natural habitat. Oh, oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, fuck. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. So, how are you feeling so far? Feels, feels pretty good. I, uh, I don't know how that I look. <laughs> um, so, you can go into playback by uh, tapping this. Don't tell them. This isn't a red tutorial. And then uh, you can scrub through that cool. uh, playback is at um, your preferred 48 okay. frames per second. Sweet. We're not going to show you. Let me see Jake's reaction. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. We fan yeah, so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So, did I say this on camera that, um, I know I said it off camera, that, how do I get out of here now? Uh, you can just the press button. the record button or, yeah. Okay. Uh, one thing I really, I really want to strive for is the like, choreographic nature of the camera's POV. Okay. So, not just that I don't want to have still shots, like we'll have some tripod, but I don't want to focus on that. I want it to feel like a person who's with you, not just cheeky cam person who's with you, but I want it to have an identity. And so I was thinking a lot about just the choreographing of the movement, feeling like it's complex panning and shit to try to get. So basically, he's saying that he wants some janky cam. Janky cam? <laughs> yeah. I, you were, I was like, I was finishing what I was saying, and you were starting to smile. Like, like, <laughs> uh, it's a ring on the front of the lens. Oh, right. Declicked. Declicked. A declicked aperture. I'm, I'm just shifting between. All the way closed is the other way. Yep. That's open? That's all the way closed. That's closed? It just shows, but it looks like between 2 and 2.8. Why is it? There's like a little red. Yeah. It's not. There's like yeah. numbers here. It doesn't this is... Down. This is all the way closed. Okay. This is all the way open. Gotcha. It's really not that much. 
really not that much right there. So he's getting um, footage of the sky with the trees. How's it looking, Jake? It's looking good. A lot of uh... He's so sexy. He's so wild. Oh, I see that little lens flare. Yeah. That's fun. What about down here? I don't really know if I'll use any of this, but... I mean, hey, it's good to have it. The, the Gladiator grass, grass shot I was thinking about. Okay. Um, so this is the first scene that I'm in. But, I mean, it's not actually going to be sequential. I'm just, I just want to get it. Right yeah. Here. Yeah. The first scene is going to be that side profile. We're speeding. <laughs> uh, so, I want you in this. You? Yep. Uh, so, I, I want to choreograph this. I think how I want you, Brandon, is we're going to both walk through this grass. How do you want me, Jake? I want you walking with your hand, you know, swinging the way they would normally swing. And, sorry, <laughs> swinging the way they would swing. And then touching like this. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be walking backwards right here. So do you want, um, your arm. do you want a hand in, in on yeah. this side? Yeah, so like, so this movement. But here, you're gonna be walking this way and I'm gonna be right in front of you, and you're gonna be touching the grass. Okay, so I'm... Nice. ...really... ...shallow. Okay. Well, so... And... Here. Hypothetically, my hand will lock at about this point, right? Come in... Uh... Sorry. It's not, it's not fuck you to be changing the ISO shot to shot, right? No. Okay. Okay. So... Color grading will be a completely different venture. Um, okay, so do you see that patch of grass right there? There. Move your leg. Straight. There's like a little patch right there. Um... Uh, shot one through these, uh, tall grass things uh and um very fun yeah. very very slow-mo very very soft very beautiful a little sensual and very sensual and very summery the very summery summer song because brandon's gonna be sweating his ass off oh hell yeah <laughs> let's get it okay so we just uh did a little shot with me in it um we, I think we, we we tried to we tried to match shot uh, parallel, but we realized it was a little too shaky, so we instead opted for just uh, a nice little panning tracking shot. Oh, that's very nice. Of me walking through, slowly coming into focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, and that that nice little highlight roll off, thanks to that. Helios mixed with that Promist. Yeah, that looks really good. Very, very nice. I will say that I am enjoying widescreen. I, I had wanted to kind of confine it, but I'm getting you up close. And I was gonna that like, I was gonna like correct you earlier and be like, hey, we should probably switch to like 16 by 9 or something like that. Yeah. But honestly, like shooting two to one, that is taking advantage of the full sensor. Yeah. So basically, you wouldn't get any more or any less yes. of an image, right. you just basically be cropping right. on an image. So we can take into post. Yeah, and I think the thing that happens well. with, the thing that we liked about Pixel Buds is that it forced a different style of directional movement. And here yeah. I was envisioning a lot of left to right, right to left directional movement to begin with. Uh -huh. So if that's the case, then I should probably play to a wider screen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, there we have it. That's our little update. All right. Okay, bye. So, Jake, uh, we're probably like quarter way into shooting, right? Yeah, I think so. How are you feeling so far? I feel 
feel good. I feel like uh, I feel like I know when I'm making music, I know how to tell how much footage I have. And I wouldn't know that we're a quarter away into making this because I'm just like, I guess I'm just doing stuff. Right. Uh, yeah. So I definitely feel lost. Um, but that's good. Yeah, I feel like good. there's there's an element to that that's like nice. Yeah. I, wanna, I felt lost yesterday, so. Yeah, I think being lost and being uncomfortable in that makes you feel more willing to explore. And I definitely feel like I'm just like, oh, what about this? What about that? What about this? Right. So that's pretty fun. That's right. Um, yeah, we just took uh, one. Did you, you didn't record that? The one piece of footage of uh, no. barefoot walking. We so. got some feet pics. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it looked really good. It did. Some crispy feet. And so. we're sticking with the, uh, the Helios. Helios vibes right now. Yeah. Um, it's like a really nice vintage look. Yeah. That's and you hard really to beat. Can't, you, can't, you can't beat that bloomy. Truly. Yeah. Okay. All That's right. all for now. Jake and I have officially broken the law. We are past uh, the caution tape. Shall we, Jake? What? I'm tight rope walking, but not on a rope. On some wood. Yeah, boy. Proud of you. Thank you. So Jake, how are we feeling? Feeling good. We're um this environment is like pretty similar yeah. for the next um little while. So we figured we would try to change uh change settings. I really like the restriction of the palette that we're using. Yeah. Um we're in the Pine Barrens and it's not that it all looks the same. I, I'm a strong advocate against people saying the pine, that every part of the Pine Barrens looks the same, but it is all nature and woods and uh, sand and and uh, pine needles. So yeah, playing to that. Oh, oh it looks you nice. Can, you can get you can show them the turkey. Oh yeah, there's a turkey with some right babies. There. Where are you, turkey? I cannot find. There it is. It's a mama turkey. I have found the turkey. Yes. She didn't even like. She didn't even like complain when we walked by her. She just yeah, kind of no, stood up she and walked really away and was like, bop, bop. did not care. She bop, bop. was, she bop. was chill. Yeah, super chill. <laughs> I need a vlogging camera. So like, how would you say we're doing so far? We're doing pretty well. Okay. I. I mean, this makes everything look good. Yeah. And having like having you help me plan the shots also feels like very useful <laughs> obviously cool um i i i could see how after years of just freehanding it i would be a lot better at not being shaky um yeah i can kind of feel that but i i can feel myself tensing up every so often so i'm like trying to be really cautious of that and just being super as fluid as possible but also play to moments of pacing yeah um, which i hope will be useful in the song uh, like for instance, walking, tracking Brandon's feet, I was walking behind him and I was stepping when he was stepping. Right. And I was trying to, if, if the camera had to swing at all, I was trying to swing in time too. So I think having a sense of time is useful. And on that note, I'm sorry that this video is probably very shaky, but uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And we are on location too. We just kind of, we're, we're pretty much, we're pretty much wrapped yes. for for now at least. Look at this beautiful landscape. We're, um, we're bad at vlogging. Yeah. Um, so sorry, but you'll see that our work. Um, we're just gonna do pretty much a continuous shot from the editing station. Uh, and you'll get to see the stuff that you didn't see us make. Um, but I promise this is some fun stuff. Uh, I was just saying, Brandon, when I remembered that we need to be vlogging too, that uh, um, the process feels very different between making a song and shooting like compiling film because uh making the song it's like you're understanding the song building like every time you listen again it's like oh okay this is becoming a song i'm laying a track i'm laying a track i'm laying a track and it's like with this i'm just trusting that we're getting good footage and that we'll be able to make something happen so fingies crossed hell yeah 
I think the funny thing about this is like building off of what he just said, like I'm so used to being so blind in the like production process. Like I just have to be trusting in a lot of ways about, you know, my ability to storytell just through holding the camera and not really seeing the the progress the, the progress in, in the timeline. Yeah. Um until you know the shoot's over and you you see it on a computer which is like kind of a scary thing but um that was kind of the, the dope thing about you know the song yesterday is like you could physically hear the progression you could physically you know hear the progress of a finished project yeah right starting to build whereas this like there's there's many different starts to finishes hmm. Whereas that just feels like a, a massive arc, if yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. So yeah. We're speeding.